Welcome to Macroeconomics. I am Brock Downey. And I am James Knorr. And the issue we are going to cover today is the United States national debt. The United States debt issues start a while back, obviously. It doesn't just get to $16 trillion overnight. Uh, the current debt in the United States states is sixteen point eight three eight trillion dollars and still rising rapidly the debt per United States citizen is just over fifty three thousand dollars since 2008 the debt has risen over seven trillion dollars the large contributions include but are certainly not limited to the government the United States consumers wars and defense social security Medicare and Medicaid, and other federal pensions. As part of our project, we conducted a U.S. national debt survey. One of our questions was, how informed are you on the national debt? An astonishing 50% of our surveyors said that they know a little about it. 22% said they know more than the government, and we all know that's not true. Not at all, 14%, and very, also 14%. Another survey question we asked the surveyors was, when will the U.S. get out of debt? Notice, in the next five years, nobody voted for that one. Within 20 years, 19%. Not ever was 30%, and not in my lifetime was 36% meaning that some people thought that the U.S. will, in fact, get out of debt completely. Does the government want us, United States citizens, to actually know about the debt? We feel that the government does not want people to be informed. Government is not making it a priority, and they're not making a good effort to make sure that our country is well informed of the debt issues. As you can see the two figures to the right, the first one at the top is a diagram that shows what the keys to freedom from debt are. When you make your income, that money you earn should go to lower expenses and you don't want to spend as much. Smart, spend, smart spending, which includes not buying things that are not necessities and don't go out and binge spend when you don't need to and add to your savings. Below is a diagram showing the negative effects of how spending your money can put you in the hole. When you spend more money than you earn, then you have to borrow money to fill in that gap. When you borrow that money, most of your income goes to paying your debt off and paying off what you borrowed initially. When you keep borrowing to maintain your lifestyle, then you're in the hole and you can't get out. That's why the diagram shows a tornado effect, because at the top it's bigger, but as you get to the bottom, you get deeper and deeper, and it's harder to get out. Some more survey questions that we asked was, what is the shared amount of debt for each United States citizen? As you know from earlier in the presentation, the correct answer is over 50,000. Only 12 surveyors got that correct. Most of them thought that it was between twenty and thirty thousand dollars, which is incorrect, and four people thought that it was only twenty five hundred dollars. One more question we asked was, how much debt do you think the national debt increases per day? The correct answer is between three to four billion dollars. Only six surveyors got that correct. Ten surveyors thought it was one to two million which is very low and six of them thought it was only a hundred thousand per day and as we know it increases a hundred thousand in seconds the truth behind it all as you are already aware the debt per citizen in the united states is just over fifty three thousand dollars Based on the survey results we took, many citizens are aware that it is very high, but they are not aware that it is that high. The United States national debt actually increases over $3.5 billion per day. 
only 16.7% of the surveyors chose that number. 30 surveyors chose an amount much less than that figure. Below is a graph demonstrating what the projections are of debt per citizen in the United States. By 2019, they project that it will be just about $70,000 per U.S. citizen. Them showing these projections shows that they think the debt will still rise and they don't think we'll come to a conclusion. As you can see in the year 2000, per citizen, the national debt was just under $20,000. A couple more survey questions we asked was, what is your opinion on the U.S. government's effect on national debt? Zero percent said the government has no effect on the national debt. Seventy-seven percent said the government is making the debt higher. They need to spend money to get out of this recession. That is the major contribution to the government making the debt higher. Another question we asked was, with so much debt, would you be willing to raise taxes? Almost 59% said that they do not want to raise taxes, but an astonishing almost 41% said that they would, which is good for the economy, because if there is an increase in taxes, almost 41% will be all right with it. So what is the impact the war is having on the national debt? A question we asked the surveyors was, what, has the United States spent too much money on wars? As you can see below, almost 82% of the surveyees said that it was spending too much on wars. Only 18% said that it was not. The figure to the right shows the cost of Iraq war is rising. Per year, the United States spends almost $120 trillion or $120 billion per year just towards the war. Per second, they spend almost $4,000 on just the war in Iraq. That means that during this survey, during this presentation that we are giving, the national debt just for the war in Iraq is getting raised almost $2.5 billion. Some national debt statistics in the graph above, since the end of President Bush's term, debt has almost doubled. From 2010 to 2011, it jumped over $2 trillion. In the graph below, it is projection graph, and the graph predicts that in the year 2022, the national debt will have been over $25 trillion under the current President Obama's budget plan. President Obama leaves office in 2016, but his budget plan continues for six more years, continuing to rise the national debt. Who does the government owe money to? The graph below illustrates that the United States government owes 31% of United States individuals and institutions, 31% of the $16 trillion. It also shows that 15% of the debt is owed to all other foreign nations. Another major figure was 16.7% of that debt is owed to United States Social Security Trust Funds. Smaller figures include 0.9% that is owed to United Kingdom, 1.6% that is owed to Brazil, and 1.7% that is for oil export exporters. In conclusion, we have learned that there are many factors other than just the government and the national debt. Debt has risen, risen much more in recent years than it has before. Each president has contributed to the debt deficit in major ways. What has the survey taught us? People are not as aware as the national debt as they should be. Many people would believe it is only the government making the debt this bad, which is wrong. Many people believe that the war is a major contributing factor to the national debt. The debt is much worse than what people assume it is. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email either one of us. Thank you. Thank you.